feel like I owe you guys an explanation. I don't feel like explaining exactly the full story of what happened, but one thing I can say is that I actually almost sold the Jeep. I actually posted the Jeep up for sale. It was on Facebook Marketplace. I put it up there for about $7,000, and I was actually looking at possibly buying a different vehicle. I had been kind of getting frustrated with the whole old technology thing, specifically with how hot it was getting. Um, I wanted better AC, better sealant. I think the biggest thing that was really bothering me was all the rattling and clanking and thinking about the little things I was going to have to fix with it eventually, and it was just kind of getting on my nerves. It was also bothering me with how little space there is in here compared to even like a newer two-door. They just have a little bit more room inside and it would be a more comfortable fit with the more modern technology. Not having cup holders in here was really starting to kind of get on my nerves. That kind of helped when I bought the Miata because I was able to have a little bit more of a practical vehicle in the sense that it was just it just felt a little more secure in different ways. That's why I bought the hardtop for the Miata initially, and I actually used that money from selling the hardtop for the Jeep. There's no top here anymore. So I actually did sell the hardtop for the Jeep, and I'm not sure if that was the best decision yet. I did decide though, I got a good deal on selling it, and if I end up preferring the hardtop, I'm just gonna buy one of the CJ7 hardtops because I like the fitment a little bit more, the way the glass has a lock on it and different things. Um, so if I ever decide to switch back, I'm going to go with that style of hardtop instead of the one I had that was more modern. But I think for now, I think I'd really prefer a soft top, especially with it being summer and stuff. I want to have kind of the classic Jeep feel out of it. So as soon as I get the money, I'm going to actually buy a soft top for the Jeep. But until then, I've just kind of been not here for the last few months. And I don't really have a good enough excuse, except for I've been busy. And for those of you who follow my channel, you know, I said at the beginning of this year, my New Year's revolution is going to be, I'm going to upload a vlog once a week, starting this year. And so obviously that didn't work out since it's been at least four months since I've uploaded a video. Those last few videos I uploaded, I've actually had them just sitting on my computer half-finished editing projects that I never actually uploaded and I just got around to uploading those and you could probably see on some of the videos even the dates of the upload were different from when I actually made the video and I kind of just been gone lately but yeah I'm actually just here and I'm gonna show you so my mom vehicle was destroyed in the accident we had not too long ago, we actually had this massive storm where a tree literally fell on our house. At best, this seems self-explanatory. Uh, I don't know if there was a there was a container watch. But I don't know if there was like a tornado or what. On earth. This looks great. There was trees just like all over the neighborhood it was crazy and so my mom's car got totaled in the process so we were trying to work out a vehicle to buy her and we came to parking lots like this we were just looking at different vehicles and I saw these Jeeps for sale and I was thinking for roughly around $25,000 or so if I sold my Jeep I could get just a more practical Jeep for example I think this one was actually here when I was looking around it's probably a lot more than I can afford but if you can see this is a pretty nice Jeep to have. It's gonna have cloth and leather seats. It's gonna be a lot more comfortable than mine. It's a standard, which I really want a standard. It's got nice modern technology. It's not gonna rattle as much. It's a four door, so I don't. Need, I can keep the front seats and then everything I've been trying to do with my Jeep is all right here. So I'll have plenty of room. I actually test drove one of the more modern Jeeps and Having the V6 in a four door, it just wasn't as powerful as the YJ, but it was a lot smoother and more comfortable. It was a lot quieter. It almost felt like I was in a luxury car. It was just smooth and quiet, and it really made me think practically this would be the better option. So that's why I actually posted the Jeep for sale. And in this whole time, I wasn't uploading, I wasn't making any new videos, or nothing was really happening as far as me getting into what I was doing.
I'm actually sitting here just realizing how much stuff that has happened that I haven't really talked about. So, I guess we'll knock one thing at a time. First of all, for the trip to Barnwell, I have not replaced that light yet. But we're replacing that today because I finally got the parts for it. Also, ever since I went to Barnwell, the alignment on the front end has been really loose. I have a lot of play in the steering wheel, I've noticed. So I just bought a steering kit to replace all the tie rod ends and bushings and everything. So hopefully that I'll bring my steering back to normal. And then, this is what I'm actually really excited about. I got this. So, I found out with the way this uh, bumper mounts on, I'm not going to be able to put a torque bit in there, so I'm going to actually have to go find some new bolts. But I'm just going to take a break from it for now because it is stinking 90 degrees outside and I'm touching bare metal. <sighs> so I'm going to switch to working on this headlight. Holy cow, it's hot. It's stinking hot out here. But I'm putting the lights in and I found out that this is the original spring. I don't know if you can see. You see both hooks are open on both ends. And then this is the spring I got where both hooks are opposite each other. Which is a problem. But I figured it out. Tap the hole into the light bulb right there. So this actually hooks through and actually is going to retain better now because it won't be able to slip out. I'll have to actually unhook it. So in the long run, this is a better method, which, so it worked out. It is so hot out here. Uh, I got both the lights in and then actually looking at it now, I don't think I really paid attention to it before, but I had a major cross-eye problem. Car was all crazy looking, but looking good now, babe. You got all that. A straight eye look. Got a nice makeover. She looking good. I'm gonna go inside before I die of dehydration. I had an egg, cheese, and sausage waffle. No, I just turned it on because I came inside and it's so hot outside. My my shirt's literally soaking wet. That's how hot it is. Making a YouTube video. But not with me in the background. Yeah, you're in the background. You complain about not being in the video and suddenly you want to be in the video. You hit me one time because you weren't in the video. Hey, it's on the YouTube channel. That one's on there too. Mm. Okay, well, I'm not putting you on the video then, since you don't have any here. Mom, you're like, a tip. see, I always thought that, like, the stuff, there's stuff that, like, teenage girls complain about and stuff, but that was just, like, teenage girls being teenage girls, but as I get older, I realize it doesn't matter how old they are, because my mom complains about the same stuff. Not having makeup on? Yeah, little things, the little fits you have and stuff, it's all funny, apparently. Fits. Not having makeup okay, on. Okay, I should stop now. Anyway, don't so, we're, me we're going. Or take video when I don't have makeup on. Done. I don't understand that. Anyway, we're going to the chiropractor now because mom fell down and she got a concussion. I, I didn't put that in the video. Oh my goodness, okay. I'm so hurt. Yeah, okay, so one. It's card of skating. Okay, anyway. Mom decided she wanted to go skating and she fell down and she got a concussion. There you go, mom. On the back of my head. On the back of her head. She had to get staples and everything. So, now we're going to the chiropractor because. At mom's head bounced on that. So now I'm actually headed headed out to this place. I told uh, a few people that I'd meet them. I feel really bad though because I kind of left this guy stranded. Um, he went there early and he's been waiting for over 30 minutes. So I feel really bad now. So those guys, those guys are really cool actually. Uh, I had a conversation with them. Actually, I think I've had a conversation with just about everyone I've saw the park too and he was actually telling me about this uh, Jeep club here that I haven't heard of before I'll probably have to check out and we talked about our different plans we're doing he's actually planning on building his Jeep up so he can go camping with his son when he gets older and so we were just talking about the different things we want to do with our Jeeps different plans 
sounds like a lot of fun. He's got a, he's got this cool thing going for his Jeep, and I really like the idea of just um, hooking up your Jeep and getting it ready for camping and stuff. So. Okay, so like for the next 30 seconds, nothing else is important. It's you, Kai, it's you. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. We're in wind free gear, let's see how. Let's see how it... Kai, you just slammed that door so dramatically, like. I think he wants to go out here. Kai? Okay. You were like really intense about it. All right, bye. All right, so. Okay, right, one free gear. Um, become a wise says go to enter your name, enjoy the benefits you receive, boost the discounts and special offers. I actually already called them, so let's see how that goes. Alright, so uh, might want to see this. Check it out, guys! Woo! I'm like super excited about this actually. Look at how small this is, like it's like the size of the children's head. That's crazy. It's like, you can see through this. I can actually see the video through this fabric. Especially the black one. It's like, very smooth. I heard it's supposed to be breathable. Which, I guess is a good thing. Which is crazy. This is supposed to be like, 400 pounds, I think? Is max weight. This looks like I'd be scared to lay in it, but I guess that's why it's so breathable and cool. I'm actually not going to explain what this is. Well, I mean, it's a hammock, but I'm not gonna explain why I have this because I don't think I have enough room for more of the video. So I'm actually gonna end the video here. We're gonna, we're gonna start enjoying these videos again. I'm, I'm starting to get back in the mood, guys, because I got like this thing. I'm really excited. I'm gonna go play with this now. I wish I could hang this up in my room.